<clears throat> What's up you guys? It's Cameron here and holy crap. No views. Am I right? Everybody's talking about this. This is the number one issue right now. Everybody's listing items on Facebook Marketplace to dropship. And we're getting no views. No views. I listed like 10 things personally the other day. Yesterday, the other day. And no, absolutely zero views, which is, you know, we all suck at listing. I'm just going to put it out there. Like, yeah, we can do it. We get it. Most of us suck at it, right? But we still get some views. Like, we can tell that the items just suck. But when we list things and it gets absolutely no views, you can kind of tell something's wrong. I listed like 10 things and zero views for like hours and then before I went to bed for the night I checked and each item had exactly two views that's stupid that that doesn't make any sense and a few of those items I was pretty solid on like I feel like they were good items but again maybe I'm wrong why is this happening everybody I get messages on Instagram that's in the description by the way my Instagram Facebook email just messenger like just I guess messenger that's Facebook idiot anyway all the ways that you guys oh YouTube comments duh comment below please duh every single day so many dude I'm getting no views please help why are we getting no views I let's talk about some theories but before we do and what we can possibly do to fix them I'm experimenting with one but before we do sorry again like the video love it and um comment down below you know while you're watching what your experience is so far are you getting zero views have you found any little weird tweaks that you can do to fix it or help out um if you are getting zero views or did get them how long did it last is it still going on any information helps everybody out just i would love to see the comments full of info even if it's the same damn info so we know which it helps comfort people knowing they're not alone but theories i wrote down some stupid theories all right, um, one that I really liked the other day that I actually went in and took action on is I saw somebody post that um, they heard some information that it was because previously items are under, like you have old items that still say under review and Facebook has tweaked something to where uh, like now if, if it recognizes that even stuff in the past that even though it sat under review forever it's so weird I have some items that I sold a crap ton of them right and then out of nowhere it just says the item is under review and then I stop selling it well I just don't bother messing with it that items still under review who cares I don't care but maybe now with the algorithm or whatever the hell Facebook's doing it might be flagging old items that are under review and ranking your stuff like nothing because it's it's basically a, an unresolved issue with your account so I went through on my phone because it, it was the only way I could do it for some reason it's another stupid thing um, and went through all my old listings anything that was under review I marked as sold out or deleted I was only able to delete one out of like 10 things because the rest of them I had made sales on so I could only mark those as out of stock not sure if that actually helps me, but I did that as an experiment to see if I would start getting views. And uh, I didn't see, I was at zero views, but then after I did that is when I noticed that I started getting my tiny views. So um, also that was just yesterday. Who knows how long that takes if that method works, but that's a new method getting thrown around out there right now. Um, another theory that people are having as to why this, why this is, is because you've, either boosted stuff in the past which I don't think this is it but this is a, a theory somebody has that you boosted things in the past which I've done you know put some advertising on an item so that I could sell it more and now Facebook is like well if you want the views you're gonna have to pay for them now that we know that you're willing to pay for them so I again I don't think that's a valid one but yeah you never know all right oversaturation um, some people are crying over saturation. I, I doubt it. I, I, just, I just still think even if everybody started jumping on this, which they are, it's still way too new in the Facebook game for everybody to be too worried about oversaturation. I'm sure we're around the corner of, of profit margins dropping a tiny bit, maybe. 
But again, every time you hear somebody say, I can only get 10% profit, I equally hear a couple other people say, dude, I'm getting like 100% profit. What are you talking about? So it, it's just all what you're comfortable with um, and if you're selling out of your own pocket, to be honest. So shut up. All right. Um, your product sucks. Another theory, uh, everything you're listing is just horrible and uh, you suck at product research, which I, I'm not the best at product research, but I come up with some golden items every once in a while. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah just that that's one of the theories, but I think right now there's an actual issue going on. Um, bad reviews. Some people are saying that, again, Facebook has tweaked something and now your bad reviews are actually starting to hurt you a little bit more. So... Maybe just keep an eye on those and um, try to, if you if you are still making some sales, actually do a little bit extra customer service and request some new review. So uh, that way you can pad those numbers a little bit and just actually do a reach out once the item's delivered, check in on them, make sure everything's good and request a review from them. Like that's what I used to do in the beginning before I got too busy to do that stuff. I had too many sales at one point, but um, that was a way I started racking up reviews a lot in the beginning. And that helped me out a bunch. Um, returns. Another thing. Some people are are worried that now returns may be impacting these. This decision to get no views on items. So, no, like, duh. If you have a bunch of returns or a bunch of refunds that you've chosen to do in the past, Facebook might be seeing that and being like, oh, we should kind of, like, throttle this, this account down a little bit until it can prove itself. Uh, an, another theory is it's moving more into like a, uh, a YouTube-ish algorithm type of thing where um, like it's it's a lot more when you post an item, if it gets a little bit of traction and a bunch of views in a certain area, then it will open up the item based off of performance for like the first 10 minutes or 30 minutes. And then if, if it performs well there, it will branch it out into more people's accounts or view or eyeballs, I guess. And then if it's responded to very well there, it branches out even more. And um, it may be changing to a system like that rather than just a blanket um, viewership system. So that's that's a huge, if, if it is that, that's a huge deal. Cause that means when you post items counts um, and every single time, that means like your photos, your description, your title has to be even more on point because it has to attract people no matter what. Because if it doesn't and it underperforms, it's dead immediately. So that is something that um, I don't think we would hurt to do anyway. It's just to really put a little bit more effort in. Um, I'm not sure if this is switching from where we can just use auto listers all the time just to get flat numbers out. It might be turning into less of a numbers game and and functioning more as a quality game so that sucks if that's the case because it kind of goes against the whole passive part but i've heard recently that facebook has you know all these things are about facebook updating something right well i've heard that facebook recently has made a bunch of changes not even to marketplace but just to facebook as a whole and the reason i bring this up is because i've, I've heard Again, heard. I have no proof that um, I've I've heard about some people getting their accounts banned, like their whole Facebook accounts. It has nothing to do with Marketplace, but hear me out. Um, just their normal profiles, their personal profiles, kicked off of Facebook for stuff they posted years ago. So it's like they're canceling people's accounts for like inappropriate stuff they posted a long, long time ago, right? And and I. I know two people right now whose accounts are currently banned and they're trying to get them back for something they just got kicked off and it was because of posts. Like they have the message of saying it's because of posts from years ago. So if that's a current change, the, there's no reason why that couldn't be a similar case pushed into marketplace too. Um, not that you're posting anything inappropriate, but just that what if your old performance is now quantifying your current performance, you know? So um, if if that's the case, that's unfortunate <laughs> because that, that just means you need to go in, remove anything stupid, remove anything old, 
Um, and, and it can affect a lot of things. Like I said, re- you know, not even the obvious ones like returns and, and things that are under review that are unsettled. But what if now, how we talked about with stock photos, it can like, you know, see that there is a certain per- too much percentage of white in the photo, which means that it's most likely a stock photo. Well, what if it scans your whole account for that and it realizes that you posted 300 things in the last three months? That are that have all that, and it just automatically deems your account as like a, oh, this is a drop shipping account, and we want to steer away from that because it's not in our best interest. So uh, yeah, we'll let them go ahead and keep wasting their time, but uh, they're not really going to get any views. Again, all theories, but I would love to hear what you think um, because these are all things that I've heard from you guys, and I, I just want to hear any more info. Anybody, everybody is wanting to get any kind of information they can get on this. And yeah, we're all in this together. A lot of us are getting this. Do not feel alone if you're getting zero views. I'm getting it. I'm getting it and I'm basically a master. I'm super smart at this stuff. I'm not, by the way. But yeah, post in the comments. Like the video if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you next time.